Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we're just getting ready for a date night in this video. Uh, I've already done my foundation and brows off camera. And um, I just started with my Baby Lips lip balm. And I'm going straight in with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless to just sort of um, semi-prime my eyelids. And then I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. And I'm taking the color Violetta and just applying that all over my crease and just blending it, making sure that it's even on both sides. And then I'm going to go in with the next shade, which is Isabel, and I'm just taking that slightly above the crease shade to kind of create that transition effect. And I've just changed up the brush. This is just the one that is a slight, it has a, a slight angle to it. I'm just making sure to again blend and keep it all very seamless and even and just hang on to the first two brushes because we're going to keep using them throughout um, next I'm taking Lula and I'm using the elf crease brush and I'm just placing that in the outer third um, concentrating that in the outer third and then taking it along my crease but keeping it really really close to the crease not taking it any anywhere above the crease and I'm just going to continue blending and packing on the color slowly just so that I can build the intensity instead of just like um, giving it a full on intense color and then trying to blend it and take it away. So I'm just slowly building the color, making sure that it's even on both sides again. And then, like I said, um, keep the brushes handy. This is the first brush we used and we're just slightly blending it and making it seamless. No harsh lines anywhere. Um, and then I'm taking a Paris and I'm going to use this um, shadow to place it on my brow bone. Um, this is the NYX shader brush, I think. Um, and I'm just highlighting my brow bone with that. And then again, just blending it, kind of. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going in with my Too Faced Sweet, Sweet Peach palette and taking the color Peach Pit and just packing that all over the lid with um, another, this is an Avon shader brush, shader brush. Wow, I cannot talk. Sorry guys, it's still, it's like 10.15 at 9 and I'm like, huh, all dead and exhausted. <laughs> um, but I'm just packing that color on. Again, I'm going to go in with that first, um, crease brush and blend everything together making sure there are no harsh lines slowly packing on the color and just building the intensity to where I want it to be and there we go blending I'm taking a small pencil brush here by Essence of Beauty and I'm taking the color Delectable from the Sweet Peach palette and just placing that on my lower lash line and I'm just um, keeping it really really close to that lash line and I'm going to follow it up with um, what is that color? Summer Yum. And I'm going to place it slightly below the delectable shade. I'm just trying to bring out all the purples and just kind of make it all flattery or fluttery, something like that. <laughs> um, so I'm just using the same brush for both of them. And then I'm going in with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. And I'm just using a paint brush here because I feel like it works really, really well. It gives me the precision I want. So I'm just going to line and create a slight wing. And then for my waterline and tight line, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Kajal. And just placing that. Sorry, I keep going in and out of the frame. I'm still trying to adjust with the new setting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just making sure that it's pretty intense. And again, taking the same crease, uh, the small pencil brush, and just blending it all together. Just smoking out the lower lash line really well. Then I'm just taking my Define Lash Volume Mascara, the waterproof version, and I'm just going to coat my lashes and making sure that I give it enough curl. I don't normally curl my lashes because they're already sort of um, curled on, it, on their own. So I just make sure that I apply mascara in a way where it kind of just maintains the curl and even enhances it a little bit. So now for the rest of my face, I am just applying the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder all over using the Sonia Kashuk, um, what brush is that? Dual Fiber Brush? Yeah. Making sure I take it under, um, below my neckline and stuff. 
I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, mixing the two shades and just contouring my face with that. I missed, I totally skipped on the bronzer in this part just because I was, um, you know, in a rush, but this worked out really, really well. It just gave me really nice definition on my cheekbones and jawline and everywhere else like that. So I'm just contouring with my e.l.f. blush brush. See, they look so good. I actually have cheekbones. <laughs> um, and because I have a round face, I tend to just do around my temples area and then I just leave the middle part blank just so that it kind of looks elongated. I've been using this technique lately and it works really, really well for me. For my nose, I'm going in with the second angled um, crease brush that we used earlier and I'm just going to contour my nose with that. And then what I like to do once I have defined defined it, sort of, I just take in a powder brush or any other fluffy brush and sort of like blend it together um, so the lines are not so harsh, but then you still have the definition in, around your nose area. I love that technique. It works really, really well for me. So there you go. And then I'm, in this case, I'm just using the um, Sonia Kashuk um, Duo Fiber Brush. So for blush today, I'm using uh, Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink, and I'm using the e.l.f. Complexion Brush, or the Duo Fiber Brush, I don't know which one that is, um, but I use this for my blush all the time, and I'm just really, really coating it on my cheeks. For my highlighter, I'm using the Balm Mary Luminizer um, from the Trio that I bought recently, and I'm using the Clinique Shader Brush and just... Um, highlighting the high points of my face so really the light doesn't do it enough justice honestly but yeah taking it around my temples on my nose like bridge of my nose tip of my nose brow bone chin cupid's bow so I just did the dot and then um, whatever is left on the brush I took it on my on the bridge of my nose but yeah then I'm taking the powder brush again and just blending it all together, trying to stay away from the um, highlighter, but just blending the contour and the blush together. So I'm using the NYX launch Lip Lingerie Lipstick here, but I forgot to start off by lining my lips. So here I'm using the Ulta Lip Liner in Spice, um, which is my favorite go-to lip liner because it just works with every kind of lipstick that I have. Um, so just carefully lining my lips here. I did wipe off the lip balm, um, I guess, I did that off camera <laughs> um, but just lining my lips and then filling them in slightly and then going in with the um, NYX lip lingerie I have to say I love 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 these formulas because they're so buttery and they're so creamy well not creamy but they're so buttery and so smooth it applies beautifully and lasts really really long um, I forgot the name of the shade so I'll have it down below um, so be sure to check out that section. But that completes the look, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this video helpful, fun, just something casual, just a date night. <laughs> um, but yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!